Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today I have the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Go, but we're here to talk about the Oculus Quest number two and the future of Oculus. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. My name is Lazius K, and ooh, today very exciting because we're talking about the reference design of Qualcomm, which just released and what it all means for Oculus and the next Oculus, the Oculus Quest 2. Qualcomm, for those who are not familiar, had released the XR1 reference design back in 2018, which gave us a glimpse as to what was to come. And of course, the Oculus Quest utilized the technology from that chip. Qualcomm power most of the virtual reality headsets in the market today, including HoloLens, Oculus of course, and Lynx who are using the XR2, which will be released in this summer of 2020, and the DPVR 4K P1 Pro also uses the XR1. First of all, the Qualcomm XR2 is going to provide the ability for manufacturers to do pass-through with AR and MR, facilitating for more mixed reality apps. It's also going to provide seven concurrent cameras, dedicated computer vision processor, a 3K by 3K per eye, two times better CPU and GPU, object detection and occlusion, 3D audio context detection, 8K at 60 frames per second of video, true mixed reality, high concurrency perception algorithm, 3D reconstruction scene understanding, variable rate shading, and also artificial intelligence sound, which will be able to detect when, for example, the doorbell is ringing or if the baby is crying. It has three different trackings, head tracking, eye tracking, 3DR and hand tracking, six DOF controller and more. <laughs> Completely mind blowing, right? Oculus could very well take a page from the HTC's playbook also for two different reasons. First of all, HTC recently released three variants of the Cosmos with the Elite, the Play and also the XR, which enables users to be able to interchange the front of the plate depending on the uses that they need for specific VR experiences. But also with the Proton project where the main GPU is actually positioned at the back of the headset, splitting the headset in two and making it much more lighter at the front. So Oculus, the next potential VR headset will definitely have to compete with these kind of technologies, also including the XR2 chip inside of it. I'd like to give a quick shout out to those who commented on one of the previous videos, which is all about the Oculus Quest magnetic charging station by AMVR. Thank you very much. You are awesome. Leave your comments and suggestions below so that I can give you a shout out in the next video. Whatever the future may be, it looks really promising. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together we can grow the community and help as many people in VR. Yeah, because that is what it's all about. Until next time, as always, take it easy and DJ, take it away! Ooh.